Uh, my time as a student at Planet 7 was, I don't remember a lot of it, but what I do remember is a lot of like feeling rocky and on the ropes because it's, it's going from a classroom that you know all of your friends to a new environment in middle school. I remember having a lot of fun with a lot of the activities such as like the ropes course and like going swimming with my buddies and like going to Worlds of Fun at the end. But my big thing that stuck with me is I have a friend who I'm still friends with now that I consider my best friend that I met the very first day at Planet 7. And I was like, hey, do you like this? And he was like, I do like this. And I'm like, that's weird. No one else likes that. And we're like, awesome. Are we friends? And we're like, yeah, we're friends. And I've been friends with him ever since. A benefit of the ropes course is a lot of kids either do one of two things. They either talk themselves like, oh man, ropes course is going to be great. And they get there and they're really scared or they get there and they're super excited to do it. And what I see is from the first category, a lot of kids are like, I don't want to do it, it's scary. And I was in that category back in Planet 7. I was like, I don't want to go up there. I have a thing with heights where I don't do so well. But a lot of them eventually come out of their shell and they go up there and they're like, this is awesome. I, I never get to do this. And they go up there and they have a great time and there's different courses they can go on so they can walk across like like 20 or something feet in the air, they walk across and they'll look down and they'll be like, hi, and all their friends will be like, hi, and they're like, I'm doing it. Or there'll be like a long like rope wall that they'll climb up and they'll be like, oh, this is so cool. And then they'll always be super excited for it and they'll always feel like super professional because they'll be wearing the straps and the helmet and they'll be like, okay, this is what we do. And they get up there and they're like, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. So it's, it's super good to see them come out of their shell and go out of their comfort zone. So long-term benefits is, like I said, going out of your comfort zone and finally realizing like, what you want to do or what you can do. So like, I didn't want to go up on the ropes course, and a lot of kids I've seen do not want to go up on the ropes course, and they find out really quickly whether this is for them or this is not for them. And for some of them, it takes going up there, and actually being on the ropes course and being like conquering their fear or just addressing it and going up there and being like, I can do this, this is fun, I could do more stuff like this. And getting a sense of like understanding of who you are in the sense of like I wasn't good with heights I got up there still not good with heights realize I'm not gonna be good with heights but some kids are not good with heights and they get up there and they're like you know that was fun I could do that again that's not that bad a specific memory I would like to share is that there was a boy I do not remember his name but he was the whole time he was like I'm not going up it's awful I cannot do it this is something I will never do and we got up there he was like nope Nope, not happening. Nope. And he just looked up there and we were we were fine. We sat down with him. We were just like keeping him company, let him drink water. And his buddies were coming over like, you sure you don't want to do it? And they were super not pushing him. They were they understood that he didn't want to do it. He's like, no, I don't really want to do it. And they were like, okay, well, you can stay here and you can hang out. And eventually he was like, I kind of want to go up there. And we're like, well, let's go ask the ladies if you can like hook up because they gave a demonstration. So let's see if you can get you up there. And the ladies were super nice. They're like, sure, you can go up there. Yeah, no problem. And they got him in line, and he climbed about halfway up. And he was like, nope, not doing it. And he came right back down, and he sat down, and we're like, are you okay? You all good? And he's like, that was cool. I, like, I'm, I, I tried it. That's all I can say. I tried it, and he was like, his day was made. He was like, I, I tried it at least. I gave it a shot. So that was something that I thought was pretty cool. Even if he didn't go up there and conquer his fears, he at least tried it. So my time uh, in Planet 7 as a student, I was kind of shy and timid because this was a new environment. And like I knew a bunch of my friends because they were in the same week as me, but there was also like a new group of people that I didn't know. And we got paired up into different groups so we could socialize. And that was kind of scary for me, but my leader made like everyone feel more comfortable. So I got to make some more friends and I still am friends with like the people who I was in elementary school, but it was just a fun experience that I got to be like more open with new people. This was my first year being a facilitator at Planet 7. And since my leader was so cool about like everyone being like comfortable with who they were and like not holding back and stuff, I felt like I wanted to like give kids a experience like what I had so I could they could be more comfortable with this new environment that they were put in and they would be able to make friends and have a good time so that when they went into middle school it didn't seem so scary. I feel like that's important because I um, I feel like I would have felt a lot more afraid and more nervous and it would have given me 
anxiety, like first day of school, not knowing anyone. So I feel like being more comfortable with yourself and making new friends and just opening your up, yourself up to people is really important so that you have a better experience in school. My rope course experience at Planet 7 helped with that because um, at first it looked really fun to me because I like um, stuff with like adrenaline and so I like high roller coasters and stuff like that and some other people didn't really weren't really like fans of that and they were more like I don't want to do heights and stuff so um, when I looked at it I thought it was going to be a fun new experience with me and my friends and some of them didn't want to do it and we didn't force them to but when they got up there they had a good time and I feel like that was important because we got to try something new and some of them didn't like it and some of them did. So I feel like having an experience towards something makes you realize what you do and don't like. I feel like a ropes course might be important because it actually, it allows physical activity. And I feel like that's important for kids to do because um, a lot of kids now don't really get out as much as like I did or my brother did. And so I feel like that was a new way to like participate outside. And it didn't feel like it was like a chore or we had to do it. We were just having fun. And it gave kids new opportunities to see what they liked. So we were on the way to the ropes course and I was sitting next to my friend Abigail. And she was kind of afraid about it. She didn't really know like um, how she was gonna like it because she was kind of afraid of heights, but she was also like excited to see what it was like. And so some of my friends were comforting her and being like, it's okay if you don't want to go. And then when she got there, she had like one of the best times and that was her favorite day of the week because she just had so much fun doing different stuff at the ropes course and my other friends had fun with her too. And we made her feel very comfortable and I feel like that was important. Looking back at the ropes course now, there's a lot of things I'm now more flexible uh, doing because I put myself in a new situation where this was something that was exhilarating at the same time as scary. And so now um, whenever I do stuff that kind of freaks me out, I just go for it and try and be more open with that. And if I don't like it, that's okay. And if I do, then it's something I know that I like. And so now I'm able to be more flexible with new experiences and um, try and try new things. The ropes course helped build confidence with me because it was just, it was something new and I didn't know if I was going to like it. I thought I was going to looking at it because I thought it looked like a lot of fun, but I wasn't really sure. So when I actually went and did it, I felt more confident in myself because I made that decision and I didn't hesitate doing it. And so now I, after I did that, I felt more confident with myself and seeing like what I liked and what I didn't like. So when I made decisions, I wouldn't worry about the outcome as much and I just followed what I thought was gonna be good. Uh, we use the, have used the ropes course for numerous years for a transition um, event that we have with our incoming sixth graders to Urbandale Middle School, uh, where we have fifth graders who are transitioning to the middle school come and partake in activities to get to know each other and the new life of a middle schooler. The ropes course, uh, when our students are making that transition to being a middle schooler, they have to practice new skills of independence, of teamwork, um, of having confidence in themselves and learning from their mistakes. Um, all of those strengths are really played out uh, through the high and low ropes courses and uh, we really would be lost without that kind of opportunity for them. We've seen a big change in confidence, short term and long term. Uh, short term, when students over the summer are getting ready to transition into our middle school building, um, a lot of them are very nervous and apprehensive about meeting new people uh, since they're combining with five other elementary schools, at least. Um, meeting new people, uh, being in a bigger school where they're in charge of a lot more of their day from making it to their classes. Uh, meeting new teachers, having different activities that they're not used to. That ropes course really gets them used to those kinds of skills in a fun way, in a less intimidating way, so by the time they walk into the doors of the middle school, they've practiced all those things. Every year at the end of our Moving On Up transition program, we do a survey uh, based on what students it 
favorite parts of the two-day event for us was and every single time we hear from students who participated in low um, and most of them participated in the high ropes courses as well but every single one of them points to one of those experiences as something that helps them get out of their box and meet new people. Um, when students come in, a lot of them are looking to stay in their comfort zones, be with people that they know, doing things that they know how to do. Um, it's always interesting to me how often we hear about a new experience that they got and that's what they want to pass down to when we ask what do you want to to, it to be different for the next year group, they, they point to those experiences of something that they hadn't done before. As, a, as an observer, um, an experience that is memorable, you know, we have students who are maybe used to kind of being on their own um, in elementary school, didn't make as many attachments to friends as some others. Um, and the low row and high ropes course is an opportunity for them to contribute to a team in ways that they haven't seen themselves be able to do that they're their friends and their, um, their other teammates haven't been able to see them be. Uh, one particular case, uh, a girl who uh, was cheering on her teammates on the high ropes course, a teammate who was very extroverted, very popular among his peers, and he was struggling with something. And she's very quiet and was seen cheering him on um, and really got the rest of the team to do so as well. And that team really clicked in that moment and it was really cool to see them take that experience and carry it down to the low ropes that they had afterwards. And they had a lot of fun for the rest of the day. When this opportunity was taken out of the Metro, we were really lost as to where we were going to get another um, opportunity for our incoming sixth graders to practice those skills of team building um, in a fun and collaborative way while also building the, that true independence and failure and then getting back up again and trying it again and finding success in that. Uh, it's really a unique opportunity and it's a really unique experience for them to do so in an outdoor while they're working with the team but also really finding personal strengths as well um, and we would be lost without it. You know to anyone considering funding the, this course I would say uh, to think outside the box when you're considering donating. This is a unique experience and one that not a lot of people know about uh, just offhand. Uh, but the evidence is in the kids' feedback who do experience it, and it really is just a matter of more kids having access to that kind of an opportunity where there really isn't one in the metro area. Um, we've used it for years and we value it so much, and we're really excited to have an opportunity to have it back. Very good. Um, say your name and spell it for me, and then give me your title and maybe your years of service. Okay. For how long you've been doing, yes. how long the ropes course has been a part of your transition programs? Uh, I don't know the answer to that. I don't okay. know. Then how long you've been at Urbandale Middle School? Okay. Um, teaching. How long have we, how long has it been utilized? Here. That was my question. Okay. Yeah. Um, she doesn't know that number. I don't know that number. For Urbandale Middle, that for middle exactly. School. Exactly. I do because we started it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm the facilitator of Family Outreach Services at Urbandale Middle School, and we have utilized the High Ropes course for the past eight years for our transition program. Perfect. So with our program moving on up, we have about 150 students every year who participate, uh, meaning we're looking for a community opportunity for our students that can facilitate 150 students, which is harder to come by um, than we initially thought would be. Um, looking into options like escape rooms or you know local outdoor camps in the area, facilitating 150 students is really expensive um, and not always budgetarily feasible um, or the location wasn't close enough for us to do our day programming there. Um, and so this this gives us the option to experience all the things that we need our students to check off their list as far as 
um, experiencing new things, team building, confidence, trial and error, all those kinds of things um, in a more feasible and efficient, productive way uh, for our Urbandale community. With expense-wise, this is an option that's really ideal for us um, because of the number of kids that we bring. Um, the higher amount of kids that we bring for outside, re outside resources like escape rooms where 20 kids would be able to participate at a time maybe, um, where it would be a shorter experience for them to actually participate, but with more, ex it's more expensive or with paying a bigger fee than the fee is for a student to pay to do an all day activity where they're doing team building at the ropes course. In addition to a ropes course being most cost efficient option for us, um, it really goes beyond it being a 20 minute experience where students, you know, walk through all these challenges and then it's done. Uh, with the ropes course, with the facilitators and all the activities that they're doing throughout the day, there's a lot of opportunity for them to process what they just did, to pre-plan what they're going to do um, and think through different strategies, think through how they're working as a team, how they are processing things as an individual. Um, it's really unique for students in the fifth to sixth grade transition to be able to reflect on how they did things, how they could do them better and where they succeeded. Um, and this ropes course with the emphasis being on the process of learning and the emphasis being on doing it together as a unit, uh, it gives a unique opportunity for students to be able to add that reflection piece into the unique experience that they're getting. In our school district in general, you know, we have kids coming from all sorts of backgrounds um, as far as income, uh, privilege race where they're from. Uh, so this is a really uh, unique experience for them to all come together and we really want to make it priority to make sure that all students have access to this type of opportunity. Um, so I mean from the cost of the events um, on, on our end we, we find it a priority to make sure that you know kids from high and low are able to access uh, this opportunity because of you know the the skills that it brings to students and that highlights within themselves really um, and how that they can get to know each other and know each other's strengths more than they than they could have before um, you know we want to make sure that you know the high low and medium kids are all able to access this so that they can say see strengths within themselves and within each other so that those strengths and connections can carry on throughout their time at the middle school and just in general throughout how I use the course uh, for my programs with the Planet 7 program, um, one of the biggest things is communication skills, um, getting the kids to work together with each other and figure out what the communication difficulties are and how they're going to work together and work around those difficulties. The uh, importance of the program, it uh, builds a lot of confidence with the kids, um, gets them out of their normal area, we kind of force them to meet other people and figure out, okay, this is their problem, how are you guys going to work through these different things. Um, a lot of success with our kids. Um, they come out of that with great results. Uh, with the results that we've seen with our students is, once again, the communication. Um, they've learned a lot as far as it going into seventh grade, um, how they're going to work with each other. Some of the results I've seen with our students for the program is communication skills, confidence. Um, when they go to the course, there's things that they didn't think they'd ever do in their lives and encouraged and they did it on their own and they kind of realized, oh, I didn't know I'd be able to do that. Or, I just really surprised myself on it. Um, they just uh, kind of get them out of the, their selves out of the box. Um, how do they apply those for the next year? We have four schools that feed into the junior high, so there's a lot of kids they do not know. Um, they get to figure out, they get to meet a lot of kids. What are the differences from those schools because the environments are so different? Um, a lot of learning what they're going to do, how this new world, um, as far as their the new junior high you know, education is. Um, they can apply a lot what they've learned with the confidence and uh, once again, the biggest thing is working with new people. Comments I've heard from students, they're just like, that was one of the best things I've ever done. With my program, they remember that, that program the most. Um, I've got kids that, are, that have graduated out of high school and whenever they see me and they talk about the Planet 7 program, they talk about that experience as far as the, the course. Memorable uh, participant stories. We've had some kids that are um, some special needs kids, um, and they've come to the course very nervous, say they're not going to do anything. Um, the people that ran the course, um, amazing as far as encouraging kids. 
get them to do the course, let them kind of make the decision, and they encourage them through the obstacles. And once they get done, they just cannot believe. They're so ecstatic that I did that. And it's neat to see the, the instructors kind of work with them. And all of a sudden, they're going through this course, and like, I didn't know I'd do that. Sure. This opportunity being available in the Metro, um, it's huge for, I know, with kids um, going on to the different, um, with us calling Planet 7, the kids kind of go into a new world for junior high. Um, I think it, uh, once again, it builds up um, their confidence through these different programs. What can they think they can do um, with it? It's a great experience. Um, they don't stop talking about it. What would I say to somebody that was considering funding? Um, it's a great investment. You're helping out the kids within the metro. Um, you're getting those kids um, build their confidence once again. Um, apply those skills through not only just junior high, but through as without you know, life skills as they get older. Um, how are we going to work with so many different people? How are they going to apply that with their, how they're going to work out with different jobs, new employers, things like that. We had at our program at one time we had a kid that uh, had seizures disorder and he thought, okay, I'm not going to be able to do any of this stuff. Um, the staff worked with this kid. Uh, he ended up putting a chest harness on him. Uh, he went through some of the different obstacles and at first he was, oh, okay, everybody's looking at me. I look different. I feel different with this, with this harness and everything. And he ended up going through one of the, uh, some of the different obstacles or the elements and all of a sudden halfway through he's keeps going, he gets done and realizes that, okay, I just did that and I didn't even pay attention, you know, my disabilities or um, medical issues with that. Um, a lot of kids, uh, his peers, encouraged him that they didn't even know him, but they got into the spot where they can encourage him and help him and just uh, a lot of good peer support um, with that. Um, other kids that, uh, you know, it completely gets out of the box, they don't think they can do anything. Um, the staff there helps encourage them, make them kind of, or helps them to make the complete decision instead of, oh, you can do it, you know, don't be a big baby or anything like that. Um, it's just amazing change with the kids um, to see how, how it changed them, how it changed their lives, you know, that confidence I'm going through this stuff. Okay, I had these people I don't even know encourage me and look how much they helped me to get through that situation. Okay. With, these, uh, with this course, it's uh, able to, you know, I break 110 kids to the, to the course or to this, uh, this facility and everybody's on a level playing field. We don't take all the athletic or the special needs or people and completely separate them. Um, they end up working together and they don't realize how much value is that, okay, this group kind of mixed in and helped out that person. Um, over the last 11 years, I brought over 5,000 kids and and it's amazing to see how much they've changed, how they've helped each other. And they totally mix in. Um, like I said, they're not separated from anyone. Um, a complete leveling, level playing field, they, they work together and they just don't realize how they're, you know, that they end up working together so much. Scavo High School has used the ROPES course in different ways. We've really targeted different groups of students that might have specific struggles or as a student engagement opportunity where we bring groups of kids to the course to be able to build community, build some of those leadership skills and really give the kids a chance to be vulnerable um, and to do something that they've never done before. We mix students and adults. There's always adults that are accompanying the kids um, for those events. Um, we find that to be the most powerful way for teachers to experience um, something different with the kids uh, so that they can both see each other in different lights and to be able to push each other outside of their comfort zone and really build something special. We've also used the ropes course as leadership opportunities for our staff and some community building with, um, with the adults. So we were able to take our leadership uh, crew to the ropes course to be able to work on those leaderships, to build relationships, and to really give each other a chance to push, to be vulnerable, to explore what our fears were, and to figure out how we can work better together um, back in our school environment. There's so many different things that keep bringing us back to the ropes course. It has been a really special environment where we've offered kids this opportunity. They don't want to go when they're first told that this is going to happen, but they get there, they're in an outdoor environment that they don't always get to go to. They get to do things that they don't expect 
um, as part of the low ropes or the high ropes experience. As soon as you get a young person up high and they've, they've climbed that when they said no, they are not going to do this activity, um, you see something happen to the student that is very special. You see them gain a certain level of confidence that they've never had before. Um, and that is definitely why we keep coming back. It's given kids a lot of different opportunities to explore what some of their skills are. Um, we started with a young woman. She always had her earphones in or her earbuds and most words out of her mouth were not appropriate. By the end of the day at the course, um, she was yelling positive things, positive affirmations to her peers. She was cheering them on. She wanted to be part of that team and she made an impact and that changed her life forever. Some of the changes that we've seen from the experience are the confidence level of the kids and that has just been a dramatic increase with a lot of those students. It's also been something where kids weren't connected to others. So that cultural or that community building that's been kind of lacking in their lives, it was a shared experience. It was something special. They were able to look back at that and really develop those relationships that have become essential in their school life. Um, bringing those advisory teams to the ropes course really built a stronger team within uh, that environment and then including those teachers in the process made it that much more special because they had all shared that experience and they they were uncomfortable together they were vulnerable together um, and that definitely made an impact this course has made such a huge impact with our students and our staff um, it's something that we rely on as a school system, not having lots of funding. It's an opportunity to do something that's very close um, in proximity to the school. It's very impactful and it changes students' lives from a four-hour experience. So the fact that we could do something ongoing and to really increase those outcomes would affect our community as a whole um, immensely. The high ropes and the low course activities all give students the sense of accomplishment in being able to um, complete different tasks. So walking through some of the activities, students learn to trust one another and they're pushed outside of that comfort zone when they don't come from trusting relationships. Um, communication, um, problem solving, these are all things that our students or our young people as a whole need to be successful as they move forward in their lives. And the ropes course gives a fantastic opportunity for students uh, to be part of an experience that they try these skills out and in, they do it in real life and it's not just a set up environment. This is where they have to come together and work together and build all of those things. After your day at the course, you get a chance to reflect on what's happened. Um, staff do a fantastic job of facilitating conversations for students to understand the things that they experienced and how they connect that to their real lives. So it's really important for kids to understand that they learned trust. They learned how to be part of a team and to solve problems together and moving forward back into their home or school environment to be able to translate these skills and how they can better uh, perform in these areas uh, moving forward. As a corporate entity, funding this kind of project is very important because this is taking our young people and teaching them valuable skills that are gonna create better employees for you in the long run. They are going to communicate better. They are going to be better team players. They are going to be more task oriented and be able to bring a certain level of excitement and happiness and joy to a, a work environment. Portable challenge activities are those that are smaller in nature. They're more team building opportunities to really work on smaller group dynamics and to develop those communication skills and those team building skills to make you a more effective team and to really figure out who people are and how they operate um, on a smaller scale. The low ropes course is something that's a little bit different. It can be up to, I believe, three feet off the ground and you're pushing things a little bit further at that level and it's a little bit more of a challenge where it becomes more physical in nature and you really have to look at this as an experiential education opportunity in working as a team and trying to build that trust and really find the motivation to complete it because it does get more difficult. 
um, the ropes course and the high ropes course is definitely something that pushes you outside of your comfort zone. This is an opportunity for you to challenge yourself and to challenge your team and to really trust others because they are going to be part of your belay team. They are the, going to be your biggest cheerleaders. And all of this will translate into something very special back at school or in the workforce um, as you learn these skills and you develop those relationships and you find out what people's challenges are, what their barriers are, what their fears are, um, and they really get a chance to be vulnerable uh, like never before. The ropes course provides a valuable opportunity for our community. Your support, your donations, and your volunteer activities help make sure that this resource continues to be available throughout the metro. Through your support, we'll be able to reach over 2,000 students every year and up to 200 adults and training them, that didn't sound right. With your support, we'll be able to provide the ropes course experience to over 2,000 students throughout the Metro every year. In order to provide your support, please visit our website at www.cyconcepts.org. Different levels of sponsorships enable us to build the course and keep it functioning for years to come. Through your support, we'll be able to reach over 2,000 students every year for years to come. Please join us as we provide this opportunity to the Metro. Sponsorship information can be found at www.cyconcepts.org. Thank you for your support. So we used the course uh, in two ways. Uh, we used it with, uh, we have used it with students and we've used it uh, with staff. Uh, in both uh, ways that we've used it and incorporated it into uh, uh, student leadership. So with students, we've, we've, we've used it to help build capacity uh, in student leadership uh, and, and building a core group of students that would uh, then be able to support uh, students that come to SCAVO uh, uh, and be those mentors, mentees, uh, kind of kind of a position, um, and and then like I said, truly build the capacity of our students in that leadership role. Uh, we've also used it with uh, with staff uh, as far as a leadership team, uh, in, in a lot of the same way of building uh, that team capacity and and the trust and working with one another and. Uh, which I think is extremely important uh, with adults. And as we work on uh, very challenging things throughout the school year, um, it's been a catalyst in, in some of the work that we've done to, to help uh, build that trust and uh, support for one another and leaning on each other and, and that type of thing. The reason why we come back to uh, using the course um, is that uh, especially with our staff, um, we have new stu or new staff that start with us regularly. Our team, our leadership team, does turn over periodically. Uh, we get new members, so building again, continue to build the, build that capacity throughout our staff is important. Uh, so it's one of those tools that we use to do that. Same thing is true for our students. Being a referral school, students come to us regularly. So we are periodically having to find those opportunities to um, reteach and continue uh, building the capacity of our students in leadership. How's it different in, in what we do? I think it's something that is, adds to the effectiveness of the things that we do um, in our building. Um, we have a strong advisory program that's really centered around social emotional supports Building that leadership is one of those components to that, and I think continuously to expose our students and our staff to those experiences, just continue to enrich the experiences that they have here at school. So I think it's just an, uh, something that additional support, something that, uh, that adds to the richness of what we're already doing, uh, but it's a key component to, to that as well. The leadership skills that come to mind that are probably most prevalent in that, I think, is, is, is confidence, especially when you're talking with students that have struggled, uh, that haven't had the success, and seeing that they can be successful, that they can lean on each other and depend on one another when maybe in the past that hasn't been something that they've had 
uh, an experience with. So I think that's a key component is really building that confidence and that trust. And the same goes with staff. I, I think, again, it's, it's one of those things that, hey, you can lean on me to support you in the work that we're doing and, and vice versa, um, I think is extremely important. And it's, again, it's, it's, it's been an enriching opportunity for staff and students. So the things that I see that uh, students bring back or staff bring back afterwards, I think it ties into that, that confidence piece that I think it enriches, especially for students, their confidence in courses uh, in the classroom, um, their uh, leadership skills within the building on taking on different things, that, you know, whether it's uh, trying to promote a dance or, or get a dance going in our building or um, you know, whether it's uh, the trash bash that we, we do for spring cleanup or any of those types of things, I think it, it, it's a catalyst for, for those types of opportunities for students to step up and, and, and take the lead and not be, and have a voice in, in, in their school and, and, and in their education. I think the loss of the course and, and having that a, a available to staff and students um, uh, will be a uh, something that would be a deficit for us. Uh, not having the ability to, uh, again, support students and give them opportunities that they wouldn't usually have. These, these are things that this course specifically is something that our students ha haven't experienced before in the past. And it just provides some of that skill building that absolutely, we're doing that in, in school and we're doing that um, in, in different activities and are exposed to it in some ways, but that is one of the things that really kind of solidifies or really kind of uh, raises uh, those, those skill building or those skills that, that, that we want students to have uh, that will help them be successful. It's one of those tools that uh, help bring those things out and really kind of solidify that for students and, and really raises the uh, kind of the bar for them. Sure, the thing that I'd like to say to people who are interested in sponsoring this is this is a great opportunity for, for students. I think it enriches our school environment, it enriches the opportunities that school have, um, and it, it just helps build uh, that confidence and, and uh, those social emotional skills that, uh, that our students need to be successful and will help them be successful once they leave here. And I think that's the, the key component. We're, schools aren't just trying to get kids to graduate. That is our main goal is for students to graduate, but it's what's next. It's what do they do after they graduate. And, and, and this is one of those uh, opportunities for kids to, to really build that, uh, those, those skills and um, you know, move on to the next level.